Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to carry the operation of partial trace in Mathematica. So to begin with, I first construct a kit. Uh, you can check that this really gave script. I have some other videos on this concept, but let me just uh, run this and check that whether this really gave a kit. If I put the values of J and 0, one it will give me the kit of a qubit right and i can put this into matrix form and can check yes this is a column matrix and if i set this to one it will give me the other kit and if i change this one to two it will give me the kit of a qubit so the value of i defines the dimensions of the space and the value of j at this position gives the particular kit okay i delete this part and now i construct a generic state in the form of uh, this relation psi1 is a generic superposition state and i can check this for different dimensions with the value of k if i set k equals one it gives me the k the superposition state of a qubit and i set this equal to two it gives me a superposition state of qubit with probability amplitudes a naught a1 and a2 so this is a generic superposition state and uh, I construct in a similar way another superposition state with psi 2 and the probability amplitude B sub M. In this case, I'm keeping the probability amplitudes A sub M. And in this case, I'm keeping it with B sub M. So I read this to Mathematica as well. Next, I construct a composite state vector through the chronicle product of psi 1 and psi 2. If I read this to Mathematica, I can check this that phi, if I put k equals 1 and p equals 1, it will give me a bipartite qubit state. Let me check this. This is a four row scalar matrix, which is a bipartite qubit state. And if I change p, to 2 it will give me a qubit q trait bipartite state and similarly if i change this to 2 i'll get a q trait q trait bipartite state so i delete this now that is done next i construct a density matrix from for this state function and that i can do by taking the uh, outer product in here note that i'm taking transpose instead of conjugate transpose this means that i'm treating the probability amplitude bm and am as real numbers so if i uh, read this then i can check that this gives the density matrix for my choices for example, this is the density matrix for bipartite qubit. This is a 4 by 4 density matrix. So this is the density matrix for bipartite qubits. And if I change the dimension of one of the states to uh, qubits, then it will change to uh, the bipartite qubit qubit state. So this is uh, a bipartite state. And uh, next, I want to partial trace the second qubit and you need to understand this relation first i take the uh, sum command and i sum over the dimension at this position and that then i take the then i use the chronicle product and inside the argument of the chronicle product i put identity matrix at the position of first subsystem and transpose of the kit at the position of second subsystem and then i sandwich the density matrix uh, inside another chronic product with the same order of identity matrix and the kit so uh, if i read this to mathematica then this uh, gives the partial trace for example if i uh, check this out uh, Redden and I want to check this for 
qubit qubit I put inside the argument k equals 1 and m equals 1 and then uh, put it into the matrix form and if I run this you see this is the reduced density matrix of a qubit 2 by 2 matrix and if I change the dimension of this second uh, modern system from qubit to qubit by putting a 2 over here then uh, the probability amplitude with the third state of the qubit which is b2 would also be present in the final relation you see b2 squared and b2 squared at this position and uh, b2 b2 square at this position, b2 square at this position is present inside the reduced density matrix. Similarly, if I change the dimension of the first modern system to q trait, then this will be a 3 by 3 density matrix. And uh, you can change the dimensionality of the individual system to any level. For example, I can change this to qubit and then that would reduce into this one form. So this way you can perform the partial trace over the second marginal system and if you interchange the position of this gate in this identity matrix that would then perform partial trace over the first marginal system inside the composite density matrix. Now let us do a little practice and construct another very familiar state in the form of a composite state this that is I construct a composite state directly from the chronicle product of the two heads of the system here I am taking chronicle product and I am representing the probability amplitude with two subscript m and n and I sum over the two subscript at this position so if I read this to the uh, Mathematica now let us check the form of this state if I put k equals 1 in the argument of this state, I get a bipartite qubit state. And if I set k equals 3, I'll get a bipartite qubit state. So I'll limit myself to a qubit state. So I, uh, so I remove now this and construct the density matrix from this state. And again, I'm treating the probability amplitudes real. That's why I'm just taking transpose over here. So if I read this and then I write density 2 and put inside the argument 2. So inside the argument 1, it will give me a bipartite state. I can put this into matrix form to see that it's correctly represent a bipartite this is 4 by 4 density matrix and uh, let me treat this density matrix uh, a letter more to construct a familiar density matrix so what I do I set uh, c01 and c10 probability amplitudes to 0 and if I look into the density matrix form it goes like this and this is a bell like diagonal state with probability amplitudes uh, given at the uh, corners of the density matrix. Now if I partial trace over the second qubit like I did before and I am putting the kit at the position of second qubit in the identity matrix at the position of first qubit then I can uh, check the form of this density matrix with k equals 1 and putting this into matrix form you see now it has been reduced to a 2 by 2 that is the state of a qubit and if I change this to 2 it will give me the state of a qubit and uh, I limit myself again to the state of qubit. So let me play a little more with this density matrix to put this into further uh, familiar form that is I want to put this into bell diagonal state and that I can do by choosing the probability amplitudes into this one that is I set C01 and C102 0 and C00 goes to uh, 1 over square root 2 and similarly C11 goes to 
1 over square root 2 and if I uh, check the form of this density matrix now you see this is a maximally maxed state and we know that from our studies of quantum information theory that the reduced density matrix for bell diagonal state is always a maximally maxed diagonal state so this way you can carry on partial trace and mathematica you can repeat the same procedure for any number of marginal states for example if we have uh, more than two marginal system like three marginal system and i want to partial trace over the last two marginal system then i have to add another kit at this position that is the transpose of kit at the position of second one and then uh, the kit at the position of second one in this equation so you can carry on the partial trace on any number of qubits by using this procedure in mathematica if you haven't just subscribed to Safi Mix, kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the like button on the video. Thanks for watching.